Julio Enciso has quickly become one of the best attacking midfielders in the Premier League. With him only being 19 years old, he is already one of the most talented South American players right now. With Brighton remaking the midfield this season, Enciso is going to play a lot. So how did Julio Enciso come out of nowhere to become the next big thing in the Premier League? Please like and subscribe and turn post notifications on. Julio was born on January the 23rd, 2004 in Carasu, Paraguay. This is where Julio grew up and fell in love with football. He was an extraordinary talent with him already signing for Libertad, who were one of the most successful clubs in Paraguay at the age of 11. Julio was seen as one of the biggest talents, working his way through the age groups very early. This eventually helped him make his senior debut for the club. In March 2019, coming on a 4-0 home victory against Deportivo Santanini, becoming the youngest player to ever debut for the club. This led to Julio being picked to play in the 2019 South America Under-15 Championships, in which he represented his country Paraguay for the first time, helping him come third in the competition. With brilliant performances in this tournament, and Cito was trotted to be a part of the Libertad first team from 2019. Despite only being 15 years old. With him slowly getting more game time, he scored his first professional goal at the age of 16 in 2020. However, his team Libertad also struggled in 2020, coming only third in the league, which caused manager Raymond Diaz to be sacked and new manager Daniel Garneo to be appointed going into the 2021 season. Straight away, Garneo loved in CISO and played him in 42 games across the season. It was also a great year for Libertad as a club who returned to the top of the league, winning in CISO his first league title. Libertad also reached the Copa Super. Americano semi-finals, which is the equivalent to the Europa League in Europe, knocking out Brazil's Santos on the way. And Ciso was a big reason why they had a great season, and in himself he racked up six goals and four assists, and his efforts were noticed as he was named the Revelation Player of the Year in the Paraguayan First Division, which is the best discovery of the season. This helped him get recognised by the Paraguay national team, and in the summer of 2021, he played his first game for Paraguay in the Copa America in a 3-1 win against Bolivia, at the age of 17, becoming the fifth youngest player to ever play for Paraguay. With a lot of hype surrounding him, there was a lot of expectations going into the 2022 season that Enciso was going to kick on and show his true potential. He was played more as an attacking midfielder this year and was paired with Paraguay legend Roque Santa Cruz, who was aged 40. And surprisingly, they strung up an elite partnership, which resulted in Enciso getting 11 goals and 3 assists in just 14 league games to start the season. This showed a great improvement of the year before and an increase in prolificity in front of goal. It also showed his best position was the attacking midfield role. With the Paraguayan season starting in January, he only had played half the season before he would have to leave his home nation. With Brian and Hove Albin being interested in the player, Brian had a name for finding young prospects from untouched countries and in Cito's amazing starts to the season, they decided to pull the trigger and sign him. So on June the 17th, 2022, and transferred to Premier League Brian for a transfer fee of around £10 million, signing on a four-year deal. And Cito was only 18 at the time, so it was a big decision to leave his family and come and join a club the other side of the world. But in Cito Enciso did it and never looked back. Enciso made his Brighton debut on the 24th of August in the Carabao Cup as he started in Brighton's 3-0 win against Forest Green Rovers, claiming an assist. However, he had to wait for his Premier League debut, with it eventually coming as a second-half substitute in Brighton's 4-1 win against Chelsea in October. With minutes being hard to come by, there was a lot of rumours that Enciso would be allowed to leave on a loan in January. But with a move never materialising, Enciso stayed and tried to fight for his place. And under new manager Roberto De Zerbi, he had to wait until 8 April to get a clear run in the squad. He scored his first Premier League goal on 4th of April against Bournemouth and followed us up with a screamer for a winner against Chelsea, helping Brighton for their first win at Stamford Bridge in their history. This was the start of some momentum for Enciso and he continued this up with the end of April as he got a surprise start in the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United at Wembley. Enciso played very well in that game and in the end came off in 60 minutes with his head held high despite Brighton losing on penalties eventually later. And after this he started his first Premier League game just three days later against Nottingham Forest in a 3-1 loss. However, he did not let this get to him and three days after that, he started again against Wolves at home, claiming two assists in a 6-0 victory for Brighton, being their biggest Premier League win in their history. He continued his elite performances throughout the rest of the season, starting almost all of Brighton's games, scoring against Arsenal at the Emirates and a screamer to get a draw against eventual champions Manchester City. This goal eventually got the Premier League goal of the season, which also made him the youngest player to ever achieve this award. These goals and performances has also helped Brighton reach their best ever Premier League finish, coming sixth and qualifying for next season's Europa League. Going into next season, there is more expectation he will kick on, and he certainly has the ability and potential to do so. Being around a great manager and a great squad will also help him achieve this. What is the season for Julio and Ciso, and how much will he achieve in football?